It's Bourbonite. It's a flight fight. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we do have a sponsor for today. So just real quickly, we want to mention that we have a sale going on all through September at whiskeyambitions.com where you can get 10% off and free shipping on orders $100 or more. Sarah, we got some beams here. Now we've done a beam flight fight before, but we got two newer expressions in here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they are. Yeah. We have Jim Beam Double Oak at 86 proof. Devil's Cut at 90 proof, Jim Beam Winter Reserve at 86 proof, and Jim Beam Black 7 Year at 90 proof. So yep. that's interesting. We've got three that have kind of a different treatment to them. You know, you've got the double oak being double oaked. The Winter Reserve, which is aged in a toasted, extra aged in a toasted barrel. Well, it's also six years age stated. Right, and then you have the Devil's Cut, which is the Devil's Cut treatment extracted from the wood. You know, it's the opposite of Angel Share. Right. And then blended with their extra aged, which we can assume is something older, older than, than four older years. Than four. Right. Uh, and then we have just like regular Jim Beam Black seven year. Regular, as in it's regular. It's it's back with an age statement. It used to be eight, then it was just <laughs> extra aged. Now it's back with seven. So I said we have a couple new expressions. I guess. Uh, a new expression in that winter's, the winter's reserve. reserve and then a updated expression with the black. So the good thing is, is they're all 86 to 90 proof. Right. We selected that for a reason, so there wouldn't be a big outlier mm -hmm. like the single barrel at 108 or whatever. I like the idea of doing this flight because all of these are readily available and affordable, right? You know, they're sitting on the shelf and at a cost that I don't think, you know, is prohibitive to most. Should be in the $20 range. Yeah. Some places, you know, just push it up a little bit over 30. We saw that with a winter reserve, but, and that's also sort of a, maybe a limited time that winter's reserve. Mm. So that's kind of topical here, but the rest, yeah, should be all around. Let's get into it, sir. All right. With bourbon A. Mm, lots of spice on this one. You know, typical caramel and vanilla, but mm -hmm. initially I just got like cozy baking spice. Best I can say is it it, it smells classic. Best I can do is best classic now. Best nose. I can do for you, sir, is classic. All right, well then let's taste it. Do you have... mm, Yeah, sweet. Sweet, pop mellow. A, pop of spice mm -hmm. in there. Um, some cinnamon, black pepper spice, I would say. Yeah, easy. I think these are all going to be easy. You know, 86, 90 proof. All right. Respectable Little. Kentucky hug there. I want to do a second sip. This is our first one. It deserves it. Yeah. A little more mm -hmm. oak this time on that second sip. Pretty enjoyable. Very. I like it. I like it. Very easy. Approachable. Considering we know the price of these. Right. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm happy with it. Seems great, like a solid utility. Great way to start it. Yeah. All right. More, Pretty big difference on the nose, yeah, I think. Yeah, more muted. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah. I think this one has more like dark syrupy notes. Almost a little maple syrup. Maybe. Yes. I mean, under there, I guess, but... You guess? Right off the rip, it just wasn't kind of jumping out of the glass like, hey. Well, let's taste it. Different on the palate, too. Well, yeah. I would expect them to be different. They are different. No, but I just mean in, uh, in the Jim Beam world. I think this has more of a classic Jim Beam kind of nutty dark profile than the first one. The first one was more baking spice, and that's not oh. usually something that I say with bean products. I don't know. I think we're at odds on this one, Chad. I don't know. Well, I want to take a second sip, but on this first one, I'm sort of getting just baking spice type of... Then on A? Yeah. Okay. And it's a little drier, but second sip. I guess I can see a little bit of that dryness note, but hmm. I think it's very... Nutty beam I think it's profile. Like I'm getting a, a dry kind of peanut um, on there, but I, I mean, it's good. It's good. I do like it. Whoa, caramel for it on the nose. Butterscotch yeah. even. Yeah, it smells sweet, candied, silky. Like it's gonna, it's gonna have a it good smells very feel. sweet. Mm-hmm. Whoa, toasty, caramel. This uh, does not taste like beam in my opinion. <laughs> it is a little different. I wonder if this is the new Maybe guy. towards the finish it comes in a little bit. I don't know. At first I thought it was going to be A, but now I'm not sure it could be C. Not that it really matters, but... I think it's B or C. The, the profile on this one, yeah, it's much sweeter, but in a candied way and not like sugary sweet, just sweet. I don't know how to explain it. Well, to me, just, sugar is sweet. It's got something in common with B, and that's a little bit of that dryness. But this one, I feel like it's maybe a, a little bit more well-rounded, mm -hmm. question mark? Yeah, this one, I don't know what's going on here, but it, it almost kind of reminds me a little bit more of like a, a finished Maker's product, like with that sweetness, almost how like yeah, Maker's is, you know, weeded, and then it's finished like the Toasted Barrel series and stuff. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of that. Having not had all of them yet, if I just had to guess, I would say this is the Toasted. 
So this would be the new winter. <sighs> it's giving off kind of winter vibes. Kind of. Right? I don't know. I still get a lot of baking spice on A as well. So it'll be interesting to go back through for a second time. But so far, these have each been you know, very different and kind of individual in their own right, their own which way, yeah. is a little surprising to me for something under, you know, under a certain cost, under $30, it kind of seems like they might have less variance between them. But there is variance. Oh, now I feel like we're back to sort of classic. Classic, oaky. Mm -hmm. Honestly, more what, dark you, chocolate. what you would get in a higher proof beam, like a baker's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get that too. Yeah, chocolate, that's nice. Okay. It's a really deep, rich oak. Oh, wow. Vanilla. 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 Oak. Chocolate. Yeah. Decent mouthfeel, dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these all have their own little personalities. I kind of <laughs> love that. Look at them. Look at them all with their little, ha well, different little hats. Different colored hats. <laughs> the question will become Ooh. like, they're all so, you know, and unique that, to each other that it's like, which one do I prefer? This is going to be based on preference. None of these I don't think are. Sure. I don't think any of these are bad, especially for the price. We go back a second time, hmm. you know, that's, that's really where things show up and, and you discover what you're uh, what you're tasting. So mm -hmm. we will do a, uh, a break here. But before we do, we want to tell you about today's sponsor. So between all of our bourbon hunting, our various tastings, events and travel, I know that neither one of us can really afford to spend the next day after a night of drinks not feeling like our best selves stuck on the couch. We don't have time for that. No, we don't. So that's why we rely on, you know it, Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Pre-alcohol produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. Just remember to drink this probiotic before drinking alcohol, drink responsibly, and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. You know, tis the season of bourbon festivals. We mm -hmm. just got back from the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. We've got St. Louis coming up next month, lots of travel, and then on into the holidays. And yeah, yeah I mean, we're really gonna rely on Z-Biotics to like keep us feeling like our best selves the next day. In fact, you can save 15% off your first order by going to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite or scanning the QR code on the screen right now to save 15% off that first order when you use coupon code bourbonite at checkout. Or you can use that code to sign up for a subscription so you can stay prepared no matter the time or the occasion. Zbiotics comes with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, you can get a refund, no questions asked. Just remember to go to zbiotics.com slash bourbonite and use code bourbonite at checkout for 15% off your first order. Thanks to Zbiotics for sponsoring this episode. And our good times. And we're back. Round thanks, two. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Round two on these. We also took a little break there, let our palates reset. Drank some water. It's Drank important. Drank some water, ate some crackers, etc., etc. So this, for the second time, was bourbon A. Yeah, classic. I'm at home, Sarah. Yeah. I'm at home. I get still that baking spice and like a little bit of orange peel or something going on there. It's different. I don't know what to think about this one now. I'm coming home. Remember that song? Uh, no. Yeah, I see your uh, your little orange. A uh, little um um old fashioned cocktail. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, I like it. I think it might have been Daughtry, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. Conjecture. Mm -hmm. Hearsay. I like the flavors on Bourbon A. I just think it feels a little watered down. Not flat, but compared to the others, it doesn't have the mouthfeel or like as much umph. I don't think. I feel like it where it scores higher is in its brightness. I do mm, kind of feel like it is an old fashioned. It's got that um, orange zest in there. Mm -hmm. The flavors are a little bit on the brighter side. I'm liking that about it, but maybe you know, it would be good in an old fashioned. I don't know. It might be. It might, might be. lend itself well. It's sort of like, you know, when people say, wow, that, that TV screen's really bright. I like it better than that TV screen. Well, it's just brighter. It, it doesn't reproduce the blacks oh, better. Here we go into it, the AV you know, talk. No, right. no, no nerd talk. So that's kind of like, I don't want the brightness throw me off. That's what I'm saying. End of analogy. Phew. Again, I find this nose just a little bit more muted. I disagree. Mm, I mean, we don't yeah, always agree, folks. We do not. I definitely find this one to have more of a bold nose. Well, it's less bright, a little earthier. Mm -hmm, I agree. I'm just going to sip it again. Yeah, a little bread-ish quality. Now, don't get me wrong, Sarah. I do enjoy it. I like it. It's more peppery. And it does have that gin beam nuttiness, but this time around, I'm getting a little bit more black pepper on it. It is peppery. I'm not going to say it's a steak. <laughs> it's not savory that way. You know, sometimes if it's like an over peppered steak, but sure, sure. Not it. So we're just going to talk about the steak, though. <laughs> I had to bring it up. You had to bring it up. I don't know, I don't know what to say about this one. 
It's a little bit of an outlier. I, yeah. I'm really into this like butterscotchy caramel vanilla it, nose it is, on C. Yes, yeah, super butterscotch caramel caramel. Whatever you want to say. But it's both of them. It's both. It smells very like seasonal, I would say, which again, I'm not trying to connect those dots, but that's just what's coming to mind. So if it ends up matching up with the seasonal release, then that would make sense. Then I would say they got it spot on, um, but we'll find out. What if we said, but we'll find out on the next episode of It's Bourbon. That would be rude. Bye, everybody. <laughs> no, no more cliffhangers. No. Uh, no, we can't do that. This mm. isn't 90s TV to be continued. <laughs> We're driving off a cliff and it says to yeah. be continued. How will mm -hmm. they? How will they do it? Find out next it? season. Sarah, on? how are they going to get out of this I one? I don't know. Looks like them Duke boys, but off a little bit more than they can chew. Oh my gosh. <laughs> more uh, food based. More. Um, I think it's desserty. Yeah, it is desserty for sure. It, uh, a little bit of. You, should, you said sugary sweetness, which I agree. Well, but. I was trying to describe. Top, topping of a pastry. Yeah, I was trying to decide, describe a like roll. a candy, like not a candied sweetness, but I think more of a dessert, rich desserty sweetness. Again, like a butterscotch based kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, words aren't help, <laughs> helping me out today. My brain's not working. Well, I'll say this it uh, comes across like it is one of the 286 proofers. There's just not a whole lot there. Now, it might be a 90 proof. I don't I know. Don't know. That's... It's so close. How, I mean, they were really splitting hairs there with four proof points. I know. You're really splitting hairs. But when you're hairs, in Chad. the 86 to 90, it makes more difference than if you're at the 104 to 108. I mean, you know that's I mean? true. Yes, of course. But yeah. Huh. Thank y'all. I don't know about you. Most Oak Ford of all of them. I think most Wood Ford. And maybe most classic. It's It's got things in common with A, but it doesn't have that forward citrus pop. Hmm. Although it does kind of have it on the palate. <laughs> there is a citrus element there. Not as much as A. Just a little. It's sort of like... I just get mostly Oak Ford. Yeah, a little bit of A, a little bit of C sort of combined. There is kind a dessertiness of. to it. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, I find it to be, uh, I think, the most classic of all of them. Just traditionally what I would expect from Beam. Will that win out? Uh, I don't know. It depends on what you're in the mood for. And I think that's what this is going to come down to. I think what we've established is that these are all really solid values yeah. for you know what they're priced at and the secondary finishes and the age statements, blah, 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 whatever. It's less about which one's the best and which one... It's more about which one do you prefer. I know, yeah. Which uh, I guess we're gonna find out. Um, right, this is the part where we leave you, we start tasting things back to back <clears throat> that weren't back to back before. That's why we don't go in reverse uh -huh. uh, in round two, because we know we're gonna be tasting these things in every every which way but loose, including loose. It's a movie. Okay. <laughs> it's an old Clint Eastwood movie. I believe with a monkey. Is that the one with the monkey? I think you're just making things I'm up. I'm not. I think you're just making things up. But you know what? You know who actually cares about this conversation? Patreon. And they're Patreon. the ones who are going to get to see us do the A-B oh, testing. Oh, good for them. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll be delighted to hear Chad's tangents about Clint Eastwood and a monkey. So Spe we'll go do that. Well, speaking of that, real quick, since we didn't do our normal sales pitch, uh, you can become a patron. At, at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night. And yeah. you can join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that's where you get to hear exclusive stuff like that and see uh, more detailed content but we also do our barrel picks there events and more yeah and that's where you can get the, the name and in, in the credits here Isn't, aren't they as, nice as look as at all those regard. fine folks helping yeah, us out uh, helping us get these bottles so that we can do flight fights and tell you all about it so for the patrons they will see that part for if you're not a patron this will be sped up so see you at results time Well, Chad, it's results time. And honestly, I thought we were going to be on a much different page than what we ended up on now that I look at it. We only have one flip-flop placement. Oh, Otherwise, we, we have the same first and the same last. And if you ain't first, you're last. That's what I heard. No, body. it's not first and last. It's first and fourth. First and fourth. It's a ranking. It's 25 or 6 to 4. For, you know, under 30 bucks, any of these would do just fine as a utility bottle to have on your shelf. No response to the 25 or 6 to 4, so I guess you know that song. I don't know what you're talking about. 25 or 6 to 4? No? I don't know what you're oh, talking about. Chicago. Mm. Chicago song. All right. In fourth place, we <clears throat> looks like we both put Bourbon B. Mm -hmm. Bourbon B is... Mm, interesting. Whoa! Now, if, if I was going to be surprised about anything, it's this. Okay. We well, tell them what it is. Jim Beam Black 7-year in fourth place. It doesn't surprise me. It does me. It's the only one without that secondary... 
treatment. aspect to a secondary well, treatment to it. If you consider so it's the outlier. Whatever these, the hell the devil's cut method is, then I guess you're correct. Right. It's it's the only one that didn't get a extra special treatment in that way. But we and really so, liked it when we reviewed. I it. know, but I would think that kind of like the Four Roses effect, it's gonna stand out either one way or the other because the other right. three have some sort of yeah, additional, I feel you. you know, treatment okay. to him. Now, here's where we differ. I put A in third, you put D in third. Okay. Whereas I put D in second, you put A in second. Right, flip-flopped. So Our, why don't you do your third? Your second place, my third place. Bourbon D is the Devil's Cut. The Devil's Cut, so I put Devil's Cut second. Yeah. And just double check, yes, correct. All right, a 90 proofer, making it into second place for me, but also a 90 proofer making it in fourth place for both of us. Interesting. So maybe that four points. For someone that was all points. on about proof and stuff, which this one's comes across lower proof, this one, blah, blah, blah. It's four points Was difference. that right? I don't even know. No, I don't oh, think so. Okay. Well, I don't know. My third. Third. My second place. All right. Bourbon A. We'll know what first is after this. Is the double O. Double oak. <laughs> oh, no. Which means so, that we put... Yeah, in first place, it's a limited time offering. The Winter Reserve. The Winter Reserve, the 86 that proofer. That desserty, butterscotchy, rich, but with the beam notes of that peanut, you know, peanuttiness in there. We do love a good toasted bourbon. I love a toasted bourbon. And six year age stated. So I think my thing is for six year age stated toasted finish, I said it tastes like a maker's uh, wood finishing series, like Little Brother or something. Obviously, they're both made by Beam Suntory, right. but Makers is a weeded product. This comes across very sweet. Mm -hmm. I think more like a weeded product would. For under 30 bucks, if you could get a wood finishing series Little Brother, like if you're not sure if you want to go to that price point, maybe try this one first. And if you like it, then tiptoe your way the up to that price point. I'm happy with it. I really liked it. Is this the one that we said? If it is toast, like this would be the holiday one. Is that, did we did we call it right? I think we did. I, I mean, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think I now said we. I, I don't know. I think <laughs> I said I'm getting toasted vibes. Yeah, on it, it gives very much a toasted vibe. Okay, interesting. And well, double oak in second, which makes sense. It's also the most, the only other secondarily finished one. Uh, and I like double oak. I like and I was, double oak. I mean, I was very close between second and third. I knew yeah. first, I knew last. I mean, we pretty much could have um, called second and third a tie, I think. I, I, I do feel like I sort of, I was really <laughs> onto A and D in the in the flight. And mm -hmm. then when we started doing the A-B testing, that's where things sort of shifted, as they will. Moral of the story is, if this is out there for a limited time, if you normally pass up, you know, the James B. Beam, the Jim Beam limited offerings or whatever, you know, just because they are perceived as more uh, like commonplace. Do we, do we need, and also do like, I do need we, do we another need Jim Beam this? expression? I think you do need to try this one. And I think for the season, like the seasonality of it yeah. and the quality of it and the price point, yeah. I think it's, I think it's a win. You should definitely give it a try. I agree. I agree. Well, there we go. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. Hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. Till next time. Drink more bourbon. Bye.